guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome to this week's Divine Masculine Reading for April 28th until May the 1st. Uh, let's see, what type of reading should we do? Um, I think we'll do a Celtic Wing. Yeah, no. Um, what to do? Yeah, Celtic wing, what the heck. Okay, so let me pull the cards first. So present position, foundation, past, um, what you hope for and likely to get, the near future or crossroads, what you're resisting, your internal environment, what you will get, your external environment, the foundation, or sorry, uh, the summary outcome, get in there, um, and the final outcome, and the overall energy. And let me just shuffle my deck just in case I want to pull. Clarifier. I want to try to pull the least amount of clarifiers as I can. Okay, so beginning with the masculine's present position, four of swords. There's an image of the three of swords here, but it's a wrong image. Okay, so the four of swords is um, reti retreating to solitude, um, retreating from heartbreak, a uh, very difficult situation that hurt you. And so this is finding stillness in order to heal your heart in the present position. Okay, so in the Twin Flame reading, there was a disconnect happening on the masculine side, um, a feeling of being drawn towards an emotional experience, but there's somebody in his environment who's um, saying some things that you know, make him feel worthless. So he's retreating from that. So the foundation, wow, the 1111 connection. So he feels that, you know, he, he understands the twin flame connection. He, he feels connected to the feminine. He desires it. And, but at the present, he is disconnected from it. Okay, so the past position, wow, the Nine of Cups. Feeling like your wishes and dreams have come true. You felt emotionally fulfilled when you were in that connection with your twin flame, that true love, and you, you felt like life was a party and you celebrated life. Okay, so what do you hope for and likely to get? So the Seven of Cups. Um, <clears throat> Clarity, you know, this came in as a present position in the Twin Flame reading, so confusion, um, knowing what you want, not knowing how to get there, so reconnecting with that um, Nine of Cups and Eleven Eleven connection, um, needing to make a decision, so there's a lot of thought and consideration going into his next move. Crossroads position, Two of Pentacles, this is change, the wind of change, um, feeling off balance. So this is a seed being ground, um, planted and taking root. Um, and it's going to bring abundance into your life. But really this is a feeling of being off balance. Okay, so what are you resisting? Ten of Wands. So you're resisting putting down the burden. You're caught in the machine. You feel like you're giving a lot of yourself, so 
you know, the crowning energy for the Twin Flame connection was the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> so this is wanting to, you know, needing to battle for something, needing to struggle to get to a certain point in your life, um, and being exhausted, whereas the Ten is, you know, collapsing in exhaustion. Your body can't handle the stress. So you're resisting... Um, you know, putting an end to something that is causing you a burden. Your internal environment, six of wands, feeling like the rock star, feeling excited, feeling um, encouraged to move towards the thing that makes you happy. So you're being drawn internally towards an emotional experience. Um, and you feel like you're on the right path. but you're exhausted. Your external environment is the death card transformation. So there is major changes coming in um, and it's going to transform you for the best, you know, to help you become the best you, you can be. So you are putting an end to something and we saw that also in the Twin Flame reading, facing your fears. Um, you know, there's a dark night of the soul that you are moving through right now. So this is death of the ego, major, major transformation coming in. So it is causing you to, you want this change. You want the change to take effect. You want to clean house so that, you know, this new start can come in, but you feel that there's still so much work to do and you're you're going to fight for that. So what will be is the universe card. So completion um, of the you know the fool's journey. It's come to an end. The final piece is put in place. Major accomplishment. So they're again pointing to this completion, the end of a cycle, a major ending. So what you want is to pursue the thing that makes you happy, that makes you feel emotionally satisfied, to pursue the things that bring you closer to you. And what you'll get is that completion. Those answers will come to you. You have to roll with the punches. Okay, so the summary outcome is the Five of Swords. Okay, so we saw this card coming in. Um, in the past future for the masculine so you know it's being triggered um, negative energy finger pointing we see a four swords in your present position so as a summary you want to move away from this type of energy you are trying not to burden yourself from with it and you're trying to be optimistic and look at the future and you know but something is ending in your environment. You're cutting something out of your life, something that was negative, um, and allowing something true to come forward. So the final outcome, wow, yang, the masculine, you are finding your true authentic self. Completion of the fool's journey. Very powerful energy to to be in you know so the twin flame reading was all about spiritual union so this path of um, the twin flame journey helps you to find yourself and that's what we see here so you're doing the right thing you're withdrawing from conflict even though you feel confused about your path those answers will come you will see the light so don't be afraid of transformation. Transformation and change is a scary thing. Um, but you're being asked to <clears throat> embrace it. Be in nothingness. Okay, so the overall energy of the reading is justice, karmic return. Justice will be served. 11, no, the card number 11. So whatever vibrations you send out into the universe, that will return to you. This connection is what you desire to return to you. 
you just want to discover yourself. You want true love. You want completion. And justice, karmic justice, is on your side. So you are clearing negative vibrations and karmic relationships from your life to allow change to come in, to make room for, to discover who you truly are, your power as the masculine. All right, so I'm going to pull one card from, let's do it from Call Up Baron Reed. So one message from the universe for the masculine. Higher power. Oh my God. Okay. So the meaning is conscious contact with higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source and energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. So the relationship message, it's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, Goddess, Spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with Spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connection and remain aware of your true nature. There you go. Me, remain aware of who you are, your true nature, um, consciousness, your higher power, definite connection to the universe here to discover your power as a divine masculine. Awesome reading. Okay, so um, I'm going to stop the video there. So I'm going to be doing the extended reading now. So if you want to purchase the extended reading, you can follow the link below to my website. Or um, I also give the readings out uh, through Patreon as well. So the link will be below as well. All right. Cheers. Back. This is the extended version of the Divine Masculine reading. So I'm going to be using my other deck for clarifiers. I'm going to pull a past, present, and a future. Okay. So beginning with the present position. So we saw four swords, rest, rejuvenation, retreating from a negative energy. The summary is a movement from away from negative thought into um, into self, into self-discovery. So three cards. Wow, there's that Ten of Wands again. Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So Ten of Wands, past position. We see the same card over here in your resisting position. So there is a major burden, something dragging you down. Something is causing heartbreak, exhaustion. Now, the Three of Cups is all about celebration. Um, you know, same thing with the Nine of Cups. So this is people coming together, together to celebrate love. Um, it is home and family connections. The future position, we have the Ten of Cups. So we have a progression into the happily ever after. Peace and harmony. So we got two tens on either side here. So completions. But yet, at the center, there's this desire to reunite or come into union and to celebrate love. But the overpowering sensation is the need to retreat and look after yourself in the present moment. So we have a progression also from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups in the future. So love is in the masculine's heart, um, you know, and it's coming from a twin flame connection. in there. Okay, so what is in the foundation? So three cards, throat chakra, the knight of pentacles, and wow, the chariot. So throat chakra, synchronicity, this came in in past position for the union energy, what the un masculine was bringing in, in the extended twin flame. So there was an opening, a communication, um, something triggered the masculine 
to move forward in the future with two knight, well, with a knight and then a chariot. So it all has to do with the twin flame connection. Um, he might have heard something, you know, a song on a radio or something triggered him. So the nine, Knight of Pentacles is a movement forward, but it's very slow. It's very directed energy. So there was a pause, a slow down, but there was movement forward towards this twin flame. And then in the future, we have this, um, you know, very directed, very controlled, very powerful energy of movement forward. Again, it all has to do with the twin flame, right? So things are speeding up. And you also saw that in the twin flame reading. A lot of knights and the chariot um, coming in the present and future and in the past. So the nine of cups, the queen of swords, synchronicity, wow, the queen of wands, and the destiny card. So queen of swords, this card showed up in the near future past position. Um, so cutting communication, somebody who's emotionally disconnected, so in the past past position we have this feeling of celebrating love and it came in because of um a disconnect from a karmic and a movement towards the queen of fire which is you know somebody who shines their light very confident very outgoing the queen of no fucks given so we saw a lot of fiery energy coming from the masculine he was the the page, the knight, and the king of fire. So we see this desire to be one with somebody who draws out passion in him and love. Future position, we have the destiny card. So, you know, all this energy is a karmic return. You know, we got that karmic justice as an overall energy for the masculine. So this return this movement to discover his true I, true self um, will return to him. It's all um, divinely guided. Okay, so what does he want and likely to get is the Seven of Cups. So answers is what I'm feeling. Okay, the Page of Cups. Wow, the Ace of Cups. Wow, and the Two of Cups. Synchronicity, future, spiritual union. Uh, divine connection, you know, follow your heart. The Page of Cups is, um, you know, the for the Twin Flame reading, this came in at the heart of the matter. So there's this connection with somebody. You desire that connection. You want it to, to grow. You want to start anew. You, you want your heart to be an open vessel. You want to feel unconditional love. This is all new beginnings, but you don't know how to get there. You want answers. And then the Two of Cups, if you follow your heart, if you express your emotions, you know, you send those loving gestures, um, you know, just pursue that twin flame connection. I see you going after your heart's desire, which ultimately helps you discover yourself. Near future, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Wow, the Nine of Swords again, and the Strength card. So these two cards showed up as a final outcome. However, the Nine of Pentacles, or sorry, the Nine of Swords was the main position card, um, and then this was a confirmation card. So it's kind of cool how they're showing up beside each other. However, this one's coming in in the past. So the Ace of Swords is making a decision. Um, so this decision, this triumphant decision, was an activation. It was a truth and that caused this chain uh, of events to, to domino. And so we got the Nine of Swords in the present position. So this is, this change, this decision is causing a lot of mental fear. So he conquers that fear as a final outcome. So the Ace of Swords actually shows up in the future again, right? So it's putting an end to that fear-based thought. So the Strength card is coming in the future. So this is love, kindness, compassion, gentle energy. So 
you know, turning a negative environment into something that is positive and loving and gentle is what's happening here. And that will allow for that change to, to move, you know, help you move through that change. Okay, so what you're resisting is the Ten of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Fire. So Five of Cups, past position, mourning, loss, right there, you're tossing and turning in bed, you feel burdened by this heartbreak, by this pain, and you can see that as well, you're tossing and turning with the Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords, you know, something is, is gnawing at you. Now the Ace of Pentacles is a new opportunity, a new beginning. There is a gift um, being given to you, being offered to you, but you're resisting it. Um, you're resisting completing a cycle, but y essentially you do come into this power as the Yang. This is fire, fire, very powerful leadership. You also brought this card into the Union as well for the Twin Flame reading. So you embody the fire. You, instead of resisting something that is causing you burden, you take that offer and you become all, you know, even more powerful as a result. You, you, you know, instead of being burned by the fire, you become the fire. Control the forces. So your internal environment is the Six of Wands. Oh, wow, the Sun card. Wow, the Crown Chakra and the Two of Wands. Awesome. So a lot of fire, illumination, expansion here on a massive scale. The Sun, most positive card in the deck. Um, all the positive energy you can imagine. It's a return to innocence. It's a... Uh, um, masculine energy okay we see that you embracing that power and that's what makes you feel successful you're drawn towards that spark that queen of fire energy internally you feel drawn to it to the thing that makes you happy now the internally we also have the crown chakra activated so this is illumination this is you know your direct con uh, connection to the universe we see that connection here as well right the third eye is open or not the third eye the crown chakra is open and here we can see the eye you know open peering into the universe seeing the truth of who you are wow powerful so the future we have that expansion again with the two wands seeing all the possibilities seeing the universe when you look out that door so internally there is some beautiful energy taking place here and that's what helps you become your true self, to discover your true self by opening up yourself to the universe and feeling that powerful energy moving through you, embracing the power instead of avoiding it. So your external environment is the <clears throat> transformation or death card, so the page of pentacles, the tower, and the Nine of Wands, interesting. So the Page of Pentacles came in as a foundation card for the union energy, which is shared energy between both aspects. So there's this new beginning, this new start, this offer with the Ace of Pentacles and a commitment to a long-term goal. This is what you want. You want to pursue that long-term goal, which is love, the happily ever after spiritual union. You want to pursue that, right? So you want to um, make it a reality. However, it requires you to tear down the illusions with the with the tower card here. Illusions are coming down. You, um, you, yeah, things are coming to an end. You're cutting away things that no longer serve you, so that this new beginning can come forward. The nine of wands in the future. I mentioned that before. You're ready to battle. You're ready to fight. Fight that good fight. You know, step into your power as that warrior and pursue the things that you desire, that you want, the, the real, um, I can't really say real, you know, this is, you want to live your true authentic life. That's what you want. You want that final piece to be placed. You want all the bullshit be, to be done. You know, you want to 
put an end to this negative energy. So the five of, whoops, actually let's go up to what will be is the universe card. It's, wow, the magician, <laughs> temperance card, and the queen of cups. Interesting. So the queen of cups was the main energy card for, for the present position of the twin flame union. So this was causing a, a bit of emotional turmoil in the masculine. It's like he, he has this connection, this loving emotional connection with this, you know, could be a water energy, but it's a feminine, right? So we see a karmic return happening. What you put out, you get back. You desire this. That's what you're sending out, and that's what's coming back to you. Now, the magician in the past position, this is an activation. This is pure consciousness, attention, a desire to create a reality that is your truth. And so there's major th shit happening in your external environment as a result of that ignition, that thought forming. So the temperance card in the present position is balanced in all areas of your life, right? It's not overindulging. So what will be is from that activation, there will be this peace and harmony and serenity as this final piece of the puzzle is put into place and the Queen of Cups is in the future so this is that emotional connection you know what you want is an emotional connection to have that new beginning all water all water cards and then here we have that water feminine water energy coming towards you that final piece that you desire right she could be that angel what do you see in your mind's eye? What is your truth? Okay, so the summary outcome, the five of swords, so the two of swords, the high priest, and the five of wands. Interesting, this also came in the future. Um, on both sides, there's a sense of obstacles that you need to overcome, challenges that you need to face. So the two of swords is <clears throat> crossroads. It's making a decision. Uh, but it's being stuck, okay? So this decision to walk away from a negative energy or to face a negative energy was keeping you stuck. So we saw that stay an obstacle also in the Twin Flame extended reading, so you might want to check that out. So the High Priest is um, somebody who's all-knowing, who's spiritual, who's divinely guided. Now this came as a f um, final message from the universe, um, and the message that, that came with it is nothingness, right? It's to be in a state of, of consciousness. Um, you know, get out of the mind, get out of that negative thought pattern. So I see here you then pursuing whatever obstacles are standing in your way. You overcome those challenges. You must, as the chariot, as... You know, since it has to do with the Twin Flame connection, you have no other choice. This is what you're being drawn towards. All right, so the final outcome, Yang. The Three of Swords, yes. The Three of Wands, nice. And the High Priestess. So the Three of Swords, synchronicity. Three of Swords to the Four of Swords. So it's pointing to the fact that your heart has been broken. You've been mourning about it. You've been exhausted, tossing and turning. There's this offer here. You know, you desire to reconnect, but you can't. It could be a karmic partner that's standing in your way or just negative thoughts. Um, either way, you turn it around. We got a thumbs up from the universe, encouragement. Go for it, right? You feel encouraged. You feel that this pain from the past is no longer controlling you. So the High Priestess is in the future, so we have this intuitive, all-knowing kind of energy um, that you are connecting with as a yang in the future. So this is, you know, obviously your twin flame, but it's you're being intuitively drawn towards it, um, encouraged. Um, you, you know, this is the divine feminine in her 5D form, right? She, you feel guided. You feel connected in the 5D and yeah so wow major positive cards coming in the future 
you know, again, there's a sense of union, spiritual union coming in the future, a karmic return. So, you know, congratulations to those of you who this re is referring to. It's not for everybody. Um, so if you're resonating with the reading, then, you know, it's most, li most likely for you. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from the Osho Zen as a final message from the universe. What final messages do you have for the masculine? This one. Past lives. Okay, so the moon was, you know, came up a couple of times. It's facing your fear, um, putting your past behind you. So, let's see what it says. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so the child can become conscious only if his past life has meditated he has meditated enough, has created enough meditative energy to fight with the darkness that death brings. Okay, so we see a need to meditate, to, to temper oneself, to go within, right? And we see that crown chakra activated with the magician in the universe. That's meditation. Same thing with the high priestess, crown chakra activation. And what do you see in that meditation? What do you feel drawn towards is the union, right? So, so there has to be a transformation, a death of something. Your past life has to be, you know, put to an end in order for this true life to emerge. One simply is lost in an oblivion and then suddenly finds new womb and forgets completely about the old body. There is a discontinuity. This darkness, this unconsciousness, creates the discontinuity. The East has, has been working hard to penetrate those barriers, and 10,000 years work has not been in vain. Everybody can penetrate to the past life, or many past lives, but for that, you have to go deeper into your meditation for two reasons, unless you go deeper, you cannot find the door to another life. Secondly, you have to be deeper in meditation because if you find the door of another life, a flood of events will come into mind. It is hard enough even to carry one life. Okay, so we see that door opening. Where is that door opening again? Um, with the crown chakra in the future, right? The door must be open, you know, to pursue that true life. You know, to it's a door to another life, and that door is open internally for the masculine. It is open. The truth is is coming to a light, right? He's there's a higher power that is calling to him, right? These silly, petty games are no longer. Um, of consequence to him, if that makes sense. Okay, so I hope this helps, and I'm sending a lot of love your way. All right, cheers, guys. Peace.